Hello, friend. Uh, very good afternoon. This particular uh, video, and also we have designated as Onko channel, is in a part to have the scientific as well as the translational aspect of cancer biology or the cancer research. And those scientific research that has societal impact today or in future. And this Onko channel will dedicate most of the key discoveries, those come out of our lab, that is Cancer and Translational Research Lab, located at Dr. Deva Patil, Biotechnology and Bioinformatic Institute. Dr. Deva Patil with the uh, Dr. Deva Patil with the Apit, Pune, India. And also this work is in collaboration with the sister institution of Dipu Pune, including Dr. Deva Patil Dental College, Dr. Deva Patil Medical College. And it is also important to note that besides our own finding, this Onko channel will strive to make, summarize, presentable finding that can be useful to the society at large. And that is why today I would like to start with first channel for our first video dedicated to the Onko channel. And today we are going to discuss a very interesting observation, hypothesis in the field of cancer biology, in the field of human diseases, and that has translational and societal values. We believe and we have observed and we have emphasized that nails is like a dump yard of drugs and metabolites in human, maybe also applicable to the animal as well. And these nails serving as a dump yard is a part of evolutionary adaptation by the human. And definitely we know the clipping of nails is a adaptive system by the human to dispose of the nails. No doubt in that way human, it is routinely believed that we just dispose of proteins, we dispose of nails for the purpose of hygiene for the purpose of clearing of the microbes, pathogen, and many more environmental pollutants. But we hypothesize that nails are not just as a part of external accumulation of the pathogen or the pollutant or the many environmental factors. Instead, nails are serving as a internal site of accumulation of many drugs and metabolites, those are unwanted, not desired by the human body. And that is why it is almost like a excretion mechanism like those are found in case of urine, sweating, and many more uh, uh, biological fluid system. So, why do we think nails are as a dump yard of drugs or metabolites in human? What is the translational societal message in that particular uh, research observation or the hypothesis? I would like to uh, take all of you to this particular slide. We know it is that any drugs or external metabolites those are going to get through the either oral or systemic process. And already it is well known that either through oral or systemic, 
these excessive drugs or their metabolites are going to be secreted through urine or other biological system. Look at it. And also even through the systemic, the drugs or metabolites are delivered to the blood or circulatory tissues. And then the excess of that are going to be even metabolized through the liver. And then finally, they are going to be disposed of from the body as a part of through the biological fluids like urine and other system. What is the interesting to point here? And what we propose that a significant share of these drugs or metabolites, either through oral or systemic process, they are going to be diverted to through the vascular structure system towards the nerve. And these nails are going to accumulate in a progressive manner. And that is why we claim here that nails can serve as a dump yard for the toxin. And it is also very important to mention here, it is not only that, you know, nails are going to accumulate the metabolized drugs. There is a possibility, like, you know, if we take paracetamol in an overdose, so the paracetamol or even brufen are going to be diverted to the nail as a part of safeguard mechanism because you know human body they have to protect themselves due to the overdose of these drugs that means even the routine drugs like brufen or paracetamol even whole drug is going to be diverted to the nails no doubt the metabolized product of the drugs like paracetamol the brufen through the liver, they are also going to be diverted to the nails as a part of septic mechanism. Besides what we know that is through the secretion through the urine or other biological process. And very interestingly, this hypothesis or observation we propose that these observation can explain many unexplained or many varies in the biological fields. The first one is, it is not surprising to realize that nails can accumulate many drugs or metabolites because you know, nails, nail beds is known to have full vascular structure that may facilitate the dumping of drugs or nails. The clipping of nail, it is evolutionary adaptation, but it looks very scientific. It looks very logical that human body will allow the unwanted, excessive, undesired drugs or their metabolites to be disposed of the body through the clipping of nails. The second important is onychophagy, that biting of the nails we know is a habit. So the biting of the nail in that sense is also going to be harmful or banned. And that is also in a very normal or the scientific way, it is considered it is not a good habit. Another very interesting point is this hypothesis, because you know the accumulation of the drug or metabolites, it is not a one day. It is not about one way. It is about very progressive manner. It can so is even for a long period of time, their accumulative or accumulation of the drugs or metabolites and in that way what we understand here if you are going to use the nails as a part of forensic as a part of drug abuse study as a part of you know uh, evolutionary study that can have better impact compared to the biological fluids like urine or other where these biological fluids are highly impacted by the routine or the daily lifestyle food is food component or drink component and many more. And that is when nail metabolite in a particular study like forensic or uh, you can say a toxicity study will be a better reliable uh, biomarker or uh, parameters. And also, you know, this particular observation here, it correlates with that the high load of drugs or metabolites like paracetamol or brufen or any other drugs, it may explain the reason behind the rare occurrence of nail squamous cell carcinoma. 
Because you know, these drugs like paracetamol or brufen, they are anti-inflammatory in nature. And if these drugs are going to be accumulated not for one day, it is throughout the life of an individual. So, so it better explain that why these squamous cells present in the nail, they are not going to have the susceptibility to the uh, squamous cell carcinoma. Surprisingly, what we propose and hypothesize, the nail is going to show the accumulation or the deposition of the drugs. It can be in the form of anti-cancer, anti-hypertension, supplementary metabolites are going to be deposited, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-psychotic, and even many metabolites. It can be amino acids, it can be lipid, it can be fatty acids, it can be even carbohydrates. These all metabolic products are going to be accumulated inside the nail. And that is why the hypothesis, it makes a very strong case for the study on the metabolites as a part of biomarker study, not only for cancer, it can be applied to the, any human disease condition, including diabetes or or uh, uh, metabolite, metabolite uh, disorder diseases. Now I would like to go to the basic, how we have observed or hypothesized that nails are full of drugs and metabolites. The whole credit goes to a very novel metabolite purification system that we have designed, VTG system, uh, that is vertical, to gel electrophoresis system that assisted in the very highly complicated nail material through a very standardized protocol so that metabolites of the nails are purified in a very less time taking process, less complicated process. Those are actually not available in the tracing. Most of the studies those are conducted on the nail and their metabolites. Those are complicated process. Those involved very dedicated steps. But here, this particular method, they have assisted, or this method has assisted into the purification of metabolites, and specifically those metabolites, those are in the range of 100 Dalton to the 1,000 Dalton. If you look at this particular uh, VTG system, it is very cheap, less expensive, that involves only two outer, one falcon tube, inner falcon tubes, and they have the polyacrylamide gel that is in the non denaturing condition. No reducing agent, no SDS, just native condition. This polyacrylamide gel that is in the range of 15% gel we have used that has very precisely helped us to purify the metabolites, those are present in the nail, excluding all the highly abundant protein, those are found in the nail, like keratin, etc. That made the first step towards the discovery and observation of nails are the dump yard for drugs and the metabolites. And these once these you know nail lysates are loaded here, they are going to be separated in, or trapped inside this particular gel matrix system, and very easily the metabolites are going to be looted in the bottom of this particular equipment. And then further, these metabolites are directly submitted to the LCHR. The, the positive strength of the, this system is these eluted metabolites in the elution buffer is highly compatible, compatible, highly efficient for mass ionization, highly efficient, highly efficient for further analysis by LCHR. And that is why the observation that nails as a dump yard for drugs and metabolites become a success story. In very conclusion, I would like to uh, take all of you. What will be the societal impact? What will be the translational values of this particular observation? The translational values are, they give a basic understanding of how a particular tissue like nail uh, tissue, they will have rare occurrence of, occurrence of certain type of the cancer like nail spam cell carcinoma due to the presence of 
certain unique type of drugs or their metabolites. Then also it gives us idea that the clipping of the nail is scientific. Biting of the nail is, or that is the onychophagy is bad. Why? Because nails accumulate huge amount of drugs and metabolites. Interestingly, we can also we propose that the vascular structure, whether healthy or not healthy, can be judged by the presence of different type of metabolites in the nail of any individual. We also propose that the drugs or metabolites studies in the nail may be useful for future forensic and environmental toxicity study, drug abuse study, and that has huge impact. And then finally, we propose that the drugs and metabolites in case of cancer patients, in case of diabetic patients, in case of any healthy or any human disease condition, it can give an idea how the nails of healthy or the cancer patient or the diabetic patient, they accumulate a different profile of metabolites. That metabolites can be lipid, it can be carbohydrate, it can be amino acids. And that is the whole importance in this particular uh, method and the process that has hinted us to hypothesize that nails are the dump yard of drugs and metabolites in human, or it can be applied to any animal model system. All this study or the efforts in collaboration with Professor Sachi Sarodi from Dr. Devapal Dental College and other colleagues in our college students. We also acknowledge the grant from DST Sir, DPU Pune. We thank our Chancellor Sir, Dr. P.D. Patil, Vice Chancellor Professor N.J. Pawar Sir, our Director Professor J.K. Pal Sir. For a state of the art research facilities and required support. Once again, thank you very much and keep visiting Onko channel for such discussion or the impactful message that can have beneficial and objective oriented approach to the society. Thank you very much.